Uh, I've been following along with Paul McCorder's Raspberry Pi Pico W lessons. Uh, we're, he's up to about 31. Last couple of lessons, he's been uh, going out on the internet and getting things using the U request uh, uh, module and uh, getting a uh, number of people in space, weather station info, and all that other stuff. Um, I've been following along, but uh, hadn't really found anything really interesting to uh, uh, make a video about, basically. Uh, Paul's been covering it very well and just been following along and uh, copying pretty much what he's doing and looking at other things and didn't find it much interesting. But uh, I also follow another YouTuber sometimes uh, named uh, Kevin McClear. And uh, he actually just put out a video of MicroPython over the air updater. And uh, um, I never, I'd heard of this, but never looked into that before. And uh, he was saying that it was easy. And uh, I was looking at his code and he was using new request also. So I thought, well, I wonder if I can combine the two and do something kind of interesting. Um, Kevin, he's a great coder and everything, but uh, uh, he tends to uh, code what I would call over a beginner's head. So uh, usually I can read his code and figure out what he's doing, but uh, um, it usually goes a lot deeper and does more things that I want to do with it. And like I say, I just like testing things out, seeing how they work and everything. So uh, anyhow, so I figured I'd combine the two and uh, uh, give a video on that. Um, uh, this over the air updater, it's a uh, kind of works and kind of doesn't sometimes. So we'll see if it works for me this time. Let's get to the code. Well, before I start, I do want to talk about one thing. So I've always been concerned about the main.py, you know, when you unplug and plug it in, or if you're running off a battery, the code that runs, it's usually the main.py. And uh, I said, yeah, so whatever you put in main.py, unless you put in a lot of comments to tell you what the program is, you really don't know what's in there running. So um, I don't know whether somebody here, somewhere along the line, I uh, found somebody that was talking about a different way of doing it. And uh, if it was somebody here, I forgot who they were. Um, but anyhow, so our programs, we can actually just run a main.py program and just put imports in it. We can import our regular programs that we have already on the Pico. Let's see, I gotta stop. What's going on here? So I can see show you the Pico. So anything that's on the Pico here, I can actually just say import it. And because it's just a regular script that we've written that'll run when we start it, it'll also when you import it, it also runs it. Now, if it was like another module or something like that, they got all these functions and unless it's got a main, it's not going to start on its own. But our little scripts that we normally just click on them and run, they just, you can just import them and they'll start to run. So um, this OLED test here is the one that I did where I was testing the speed of uh, writing the, um, um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, drawing a circle on the OLED, and I was timing how long, how many milliseconds it took, and everything. But basically, I'm just showing how it's uh, drawing on the circle. Um, it's actually already running, but uh, um, I think it'll probably blink on us here. Let's see. So it's got the circle, and you got to make sure that when you have this going on that you have it sort of saved it and it has to be the one in brackets here because you want main.py down there. So once we do that, we can unplug and plug it back in and we still have a circle. I don't know whether we saw that or not, but you unplug. I can't do it with two hands, but anyhow, 
basically you're unplugging and it's off and you're plugging it back in and it runs the OLED test. Now I can take the OLED test out and, and put the SpireGraph test in and now I got to remember to save that. So I got to save that. It, oh, uh, I plugged my Pi back in, but when you plug it back in, it doesn't connect up to the program until you do a stop on it. So now I got to do a um, save on this. Okay, so now when we plug and unplug it, it's going to draw the spirograph. And my loopity rose curve circles that drew you on there. So I just, uh, I knew about this from somebody way back, and but it is really because when you have something called main.py and you put your main code in there, you guys say, what in the world have I got? Where if you do open up this main.py, say, oh, I'm running the spire graph when I uh, unplug and plug it back in, or I'm doing the blink you know or whatever so you can put any file as long as let's stop this again and so we get a raspberry pi so blink and this ota git is in there and our spire graph and our oled test is in there so anyhow that that was that was a quick aside of a way to do that and uh um i uh just started doing that and i thought it was kind of cool so now let's get in. Uh, we were talking about over the air updates. So um, how are we doing that? Well, probably the best thing to do is if if you're familiar with GitHub, anybody can get a GitHub account. And this is mine. Uh, uh, and this is what and I have this. Um, OTA thing here and. Uh, um, it's going to actually go out on the web and it's going to look for this OTA and it's going to uh, uh, actually grab the what's the raw thing. So what we're actually doing is we're getting we're sending it to this raw thing and we're actually getting a text file of this. And then we just save that as a Python file and it'll run. So uh, we just need to use that and get it going and everything works fine uh, if it goes out and gets this. Um, another thing that, that slowed me down on doing this is that when you update this, the raw doesn't necessarily update right away. And I looked in and uh, looked on the Stack Exchange and all that, and they said that, oh, yeah, that, um, uh, GitHub has a policy where they just go out and you can take up to five minutes before this will show up in the raw, any changes you can make to this. So um, uh, let's go back to my Thawney. So I've already run this a couple times, and this is the GitHub thing here. And let's go, let's, let's, first of all, if you'll see what we're doing here, and we're going to make a file called OTA underscore code dot py. And let's see what's in there right now. So right now, what's in there is just a blink program. So if I ran that right now, I should be able to just get the thing to blink. And you can just maybe see it blinking. Just doing one of a second blinking. So anyhow, so that's running, but uh, we'll stop that. And um, I'm actually going to close that OTA. So we'll go back to this one now. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, um, we have that other file in there now on our github i had blink program in here 
and I went through the process of just, and you have to be on the same file name because you're going for a file name and uh, to get that. So you have to just replace this file. That's why I don't call it like a blink or anything like that. I just call it OTA program, Pico OTA. So this one is actually the one that does the spire graph. So um, I'll show that working. And uh, like I said, the, right now the uh, OTA code that's on the Pico itself is not this code. And it doesn't, this, that code, I am actually probably need to delete that code from our Thony anyhow. So let's see, it was called Spirograph. So that's the one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this off of there. Yeah, the spire graph is not on there. So we really shouldn't get spire graph to run at all on this time. So let's go through the code. So we're doing our normal U request all the way up to connecting and then uh, connected. And um, then the thing is, is, we're doing a U request and I'm just calling a Git, a GitHub request. So we're getting our Git from there. So um, I'm putting that code in there. So if I type raw, this exact link up here is what I'm putting in my Thony. So that's exactly what's there. That doesn't change. And but we're not doing a dot JSON because we're getting a text file out of it. So when we do this request, um, I guess you get a 200 code if it's good and get a 404 code if it's bad. Um, and um, I'm not really doing anything with that because I'm not interacting with this at all because I'm running it uh, without the serial monitor or the shell or whatever you call it on this thing. But uh, what we're doing is we're getting whatever code is in that thing. We're putting it in our um, uh, we're I'm printing it out to the shell if I'm if I was plugged in. I actually did this before I you know just to prove it out and a lot of these prints aren't used right now. So um but all we're doing is we're opening a file called OTA.code, which I showed you was the blink program at this point. And we're taking our get r dot text. So it's the results of this, uh, re the request here, the text part of it. And we're just writing that to OTA code dot py. And then, like I did in my main program, you can also, then you can run OTA. Normally, you put inputs at the top. But we want to import what the new code is. So this should come up as the spirograph code and it should run the spirograph code when you do it. So like I said, I have this OTA.get.py in here, so I can also have that in the main. So I actually probably before we start, I probably need to run a program because right now I got a spirograph on here and that would be confusing. So let's just run this real quick. Now that was that was getting the I'm not sure what that is, but there anyhow you'll know it's something different on there. Uh, that was the text. Yeah, I was trying my OLED text thing there. Okay, so let's go back to OLED. So that's my thing now we'll go back to main i'm going to comment that one out but uncomment this one and like i said if you go to this ota code dot all it is is the blink code right this minute so we are going to try to go out onto the github bring back our using you request bring back the whole code to do the spirograph and uh, it should 
do it and we should end up with the spire graph code in this ota code when we're done so of course i'm going to have to unplug it and plug it back in so you're not going to see a lot of this working but uh we'll show it doing it here maybe so they're going to unplug it well i don't think i you see the star here i didn't save the main so i gotta go to main and i gotta save that otherwise it would do whatever was happened before but you make you need to make sure you save that i'm glad i caught that all right so now i should be able to go to unplug it got a blank screen plug it in and it's going to take a little bit and sometimes it doesn't work so we'll see there it goes it download the code from github and it drew the spirograph so now we're going to have to stop this so we can get back to our thing and remember our ota code.py look at it now and now it's the spirograph code that it went out to github and got and did that so like I said, we could try changing this back to the blink code. Let's, maybe let's try that. If you want to stop watching now, 